Hello truckers! A long time ago I said that I would make a tutorial for how to use Galog. So after... several months, here is that tutorial. So you want to make money and want to see what route is best for you. The first thing that you'll need to do is go to Galog.co. And yes, that's .co, not .com. So you're on Galog. At the top of the page, you'll want to hover over the Trade drop-down menu. You have options for Trading, Trade Ports, Commodities, Mining, and Harvestables. Now, the first three are all fairly important, but we're going to select Trading first. Go ahead and open it. If you're given options between Trading and Projections, go ahead and select Trading. Now, you should have a screen like this. We have the option to select a ship, a trade port to start from, and a trade port to end at. We also have an option to enter how much UBC we have, along with various filters. So for this example, let's say we have 45,678 UBC. We also happen to own a Freelancer Max. Now you can leave the starting and ending trade ports blank. Doing so will show you your most profitable route. However. If you'd like to start or end at a particular area, selecting at least one will narrow your options down to suit your needs. So let's go ahead and try now without any starting or destination ports. So we've put our information in and we've got some numbers. Below it shows us our origin port, where it's going to, what commodity, what it buys and sells for at individual units, the unit profit, profit margin, and your total profit overall. So let's take a look at our example. Galog has us picking up distilled spirits from Galette on Selen and delivering to Crew L5 for the primary route. And many of the alternate routes below are other R&Rs. Now, some of you astute traders, or ones that may have been burned before, might know that R&Rs tend to buy very small amounts of commodities, especially vice commodities. In fact, we can check exactly what Crew L5 buys by clicking the R&R Crew L5 link right below the destination. Or, if you want to browse, you can go back to the trade menu and select Trade Ports for a list of all locations. So now we're on the Trade Port page for R&R Crew L5. We have a list of commodities, what they buy or sell for, how much their supply or demand refreshes per minute, and what their maximum inventory for that supply or demand is. Keep in mind that refresh per minute and max inventory are expressed in units and not SCU. We also have an updated tab that tells us the last time a buy or sell price was updated for a commodity. So looking at this page, we see that R&R Crew L5 has a max inventory demand of 16,000 units which translates to 160 SCU. While this sounds like we're in the clear, you have to remember that other people are also getting the same information, and with all servers in a region sharing the same economy and demands, there's a good chance that you won't be able to unload all of your cargo. So let's say that you don't like that. You want to try something else. Let's go back to our trading calculator. The current list seems to be nothing but distilled spirits. So, we're going to open up the Filters option. This allows us to exclude particular commodities or all commodities of a certain type. We can also exclude trade ports if you don't feel like starting or ending at a particular location. Since I'm not a big fan of vice commodities, I'm going to select the Exclude Commodity Types drop-down menu and select Vice. We then apply the filter and allow it to recalculate. Also note that at higher UEC amounts, drugs will be consistently suggested, so excluding vices can be a good rule of thumb. We now have new calculations. These routes suggest that we move Astatine from Walla to Levski or Grim Hex. Now, that is a long drive, so we're going to scroll down to check some things. Further down the list, we get the suggestion to try Astatine from Ida to Levski. The buy price is slightly higher, so our profit will be missing a few hundred UEC but that route would be a lot faster as well. Note that Galog at this time cannot calculate the average time of a route, so knowing the basic layout of the universe can come in handy. 
Now, let's say that it's been a while, you've made some cash, upgraded some ships, and you've got yourself a caterpillar, and some UEC to burn. But, it's also getting late, so you're going to grab something and take it back to port. Back at the top, we'll select a caterpillar as our ship, enter our UEC as 135,000, and make our destination port as Port Alasar. Acetine again. Further down, we also have titanium. So, I would probably pick one of these two and take it back to port. While this isn't the most profitable route possible, it's currently the most profitable route back to Alasar. If you're planning a route and you are not familiar with the characteristics of the commodities suggested, it can be good to check the trade ports page for your beginning and end destinations to see how much of that commodity they buy and sell. While some are easily traded in bulk, there are a few exceptions. But let's say you want to research some commodities. Back at the top, let's select Trading and then Commodities. We now have a list of all commodities organized by type. The blue box next to the name shows the lowest last reported buy price, and the green shows the highest last reported sell price. But, let's say you want to get more detailed information. For this example, we're going to look at Titanium. On the left, we have a list of all locations that sell Titanium. We also have their refresh rate and their maximum inventory. From this list, we can tell that Ariel has the most abundant amount of Titanium, and their prices are closest to the base value as 7.10. On the right, we have a list of locations that buy Titanium. We see the refresh per minute for their demand, and the maximum amount of Titanium that they will take. As we look lower down the list, we see those buy numbers beginning to drop, which shows that plenty of titanium has been flowing to those locations. Keep in mind that these numbers are only as accurate as the most recent report. You can click on the name of a trade port to check the last time that those numbers were reported. Let's check out Levski. As we can see from this list, the last time someone updated the pricing for Levski was four days ago. That's a long time in the world of trade, especially for an in-demand commodity such as titanium. Knowing that the lower price may be old, it might be worth running Titanium to Levski. With all of this in mind, you are better equipped to use Galog for researching trade routes. Think of it as a list of suggestions and possibilities, instead of the first few routes being the absolute best. Use Galog to become familiar with where things are, and the supply rates of various commodities. There you have it. I hope this was educational, and I am sorry it took so long for me to make this. Until next time, Keep on trucking.